we'll say generally, behaviorally and anatomically modern humans have been around for maybe 75,000 years. On this continent alone, people hunted for 15,000 years, notwithstanding the last couple hundred years. So to not hunt is in some way historically off the mark. It's a new, to not hunt is a fairly new experiment in a human sense. Okay, well, it's actually been going on even longer than Stephen suggests. Whilst Homo sapiens have only been around for at most a few hundred thousand years, there's evidence of hunting animals by other species of humans dating back to at least two million years ago. Right? It's absolutely undeniable that humans have been using tools to slaughter animals for just an incomprehensible amount of time, and that not hunting, as you say, Stephen, is quite a fairly new experiment. But it isn't a historical question that's been asked. Right? It's an ethical one. Okay, the question is not, is hunting normal or natural or historically common, but is hunting morally permissible in today's society? Okay, hunters in the history of humanity had no choice but to hunt. They'd die or fall ill if they weren't eating animal products. They couldn't walk into a supermarket and find every nutrient they need all in one place to take back to their warm homes in a shopping bag. But since then, since that time in human history, we've developed something called society. And what is societal progress? Well, it's our movement away from the savagery of our anthropological past towards a future that escapes the unhappy circumstances of our hunter-gatherer ancestors. I mean, sure, human beings used to need to hunt, but famously, this was quite a savage period in the history of our species. For example, we've also, for most of our two million year history, been savagely killing each other and raping each other and starting wars with each other, living in caves and dying of painful diseases, that is, if we're lucky enough to make it out of childhood. So, historically speaking, not killing and raping each other and living in caves and dying of diseases, not doing these things, is historically anomalous. But so what? Right? That's the point. We're glad to live in a society where we don't permit these things anymore and we can successfully live without having to. Who cares if human beings have been raping each other for millions of years? That gives us absolutely no reason to think that it's morally permissible for us to do that now just because our ancestors have been doing it for such a long time. But also, take note of the irony here. Okay, Stephen is saying that not hunting is something unnatural, that it's a new experiment and historically anomalous. And he's saying this into an electronic microphone, which is capturing audio that you're now watching and listening to on a portable device, probably not in a cave by the light of fire, but in a cosy room lit by bulbs that maybe you ordered on Amazon. Like, yeah, all of technological progress, and indeed moral progress, has been a process of overcoming and negating our savage, animalistic natures to live more comfortable lives requiring ever less suffering of ourselves and those around us. I mean, do I really need to spell out that something being a historical norm doesn't make it morally permissible. Just take a moment to think of a few things that have been permanent staples of human history until very recently when we decided that they're immoral and aimed to eliminate them. I'm sure you don't need help coming up with quite a few and wouldn't dream of arguing that this was a bad move on our part to condemn these things because it goes against what our ancestors have been doing for many, many years. Stephen is walking up to an animal that wants to live, shooting it in the face with a rifle and saying, it's okay because my great-great-great-great-grandparents used to do this too. Yeah, forgive me for not being entirely convinced. 